the ordination experience was a really intense one for me. And I think part of it is that much like a wedding day, you look forward to it for years and years and you think about what it's going to be like and you try to prepare and you ready yourself for that day and, and then all of a sudden it's there. And I remember, first of all, walking, walking down the aisle. I suppose really a bride when she walks down the aisle, that's something she remembers for the rest of her life. In a way for me, walking down the aisle and realizing and looking around and saying, it's my ordination. Like, I've been preparing for this for years. And now, here I am. And, and, and just that hitting me, like a ton of bricks. And, and you know, how, kind of having to hold back the tears. Like, it was just really like, I was joy, as joy, and there, you know, just tear, just tons and tons of emotion. And recognizing like, oh man, I'm gonna have to pull it together because I've got to speak later on, you know? Like, I've got to really like, <laughs> but asking God for the strength to do that. And then, um, I remember sitting by my family and, and one of the parts of the ordination rite is that you're seated with your, your parents. And, and then, you know, there comes a point in the rite where you're called forward into the sanctuary and you, you leave, your, fam you leave your, your family and you, you walk forward into the sanctuary. You say, I'm present, you know, like, I'm ready. And then you walk into the sanctuary and it's a little bit like, it's a little bit like you're entering into a new family, you know, that, that, and you, in a sense, you say goodbye to your parents. And obviously you don't say goodbye to them, but, but you recognize that you're entering into a whole, new th a whole new realm. You know, your life is changing radically when you stand up and you say, I am present. And, and, and you walk forward, you know, and you move in. And then one thing, another thing that just really, really hit me during the, the ordination ceremony was uh, obviously it's really a powerful thing when the Archbishop lays hands upon you and you recognize that you're receiving something that's been passed down ultimately from Christ himself when he sent forth his apostles and breathed upon them, laid hands upon them, and that you're receiving the same power. But then it also really struck me when all of the priests go by and they also lay hands up upon you. So all the priests of the, of the Archdiocese of Omaha, all the priests who are present go and they lay hands on, on the man who has just been ordained. And in a sense entering into that, that new family and recognizing then also how prayerful they were as they laid hands and how important it was for them and how much they appreciated their own priesthood you know, that, that they recognized that when they were praying over me, um, they, were, they were praying, there was a certain power that was there and that they recognized that in themselves and it, maybe it made them more grateful for the gift that they had been given to be able to pray over me, who has been a priest for 10 minutes. And how just incredibly beautiful that was. And just, and that was another moment where I just, tears, you know, and just was like, wow, like I, I did not expect this, but this is amazing. This is just so powerful. And uh, so it's a day that I'll never, for, I'll never forget. I think as much as anything else, it's, it was for me just this incredible experience that communicated something of the, of the a deep truth, you know, that, that God is giving me something really great. And even if there are times in my priesthood when it just seems dark and bleak and just hard, that this is the deepest, like what I'm feeling right now is the deepest truth about the gift that I've been given. This is an awesome, beautiful thing. Uh, that he wants me to be grateful for.